you a sales process. I teach you how to run a business and you go take that information and go on to make thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for years. Price is immaterial when you look at it that way. I've been getting a lot of emails and I got one earlier in the week, but it's been a busy week, so I didn't have time to address it. And I thought I would take time out to put it out there. Okay. Hey, this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. If you're new to the channel, do this. Go below the video, hit that first link, and get 19 free courses on how to make money, how to have a better mindset, how to be better. That's right, 19 courses for free. If you want live training, that's an additional cost. But all of that is explained. So with that, let's get into the show. Hey, this is Glennon. Been getting a lot of emails, and I did some that's probably going to make you think I lost my fucking mind. But it is what it is, and it's out there, and we're, we're going to talk about it. But this was something that was on the plan long before this week happened. I do a lot of stuff, and people get confused, and they don't really understand what I'm doing. When you have a YouTube channel in this world of social media marketing, internet marketing, you're very different than someone who doesn't. I do a lot of testing and I've committed myself to the five, not the five percent, the 0.5 percent. And I'll get into that a little later. There are many of you who find this channel when you're in a moment of need. You want to start a business because you're broke. And the thing is, you're not trying to start a business because that's in your heart. That's what you really want to do. It's you are sick of being where you are. Your motivation is very, very different than my motivation. And you're just trying to escape broke. So what I have been doing wrong is trying to help people who didn't really want to start a business to start one. Hence the confusion. I know you're going, Glennon, I want to start a business. I want to start a business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now that I've had a lot of training, I'm doing something that's called a master funnel. And I'll tell you about that. Essentially, when you have a channel, everyone that comes in, they come in like this. But if you have different groups of videos, they may come in this video, they may come in this video, they may come in this video. So you don't really know exactly what they want until they get on your email list. And I'm actually doing something very different with email lists. You know, with the master funnel is I need more people to come to the channel and to go through the filter of you want to do video, you want to do this stuff, you want to start sell physical products, you want to do information products. I do more than the average person because one of the things that I learned last year, being in the, men, in the middle of some mastermind groups, talking to people, that many people who are online don't have real physical world experience. They've become very good, they've become very skilled online, but they've never had to do a 24 month sales cycle. They never had to do a corporate proposal. They never had to run a CRM campaign, which is customer relationship management. They've never had to do that stuff. So I have people who've never done that stuff putting out things and then I'm being compared and tr contrasted against them. Like, let's take Pat Flynn. Very, very strong internet marketer. YouTube channel, marginal. Uh, let's take Amy Porterfield. She's a beast with Facebook marketing. YouTube channel sucks ass. Uh, let's take Lewis House, another beast with podcasting, internet marketing. YouTube channel, eh. Now, why is that the case? Facebook marketing is so targeted and it's much easier than YouTube marketing. It's easier, but it's a short-term gambit, and this is why. I have a video that I put up 11 months ago that has made me $12,000 AdSense money, okay? That's one thing. That same video has gotten me 8,000 subscribers. That's the bigger thing. It's still making me money it's still getting me subscribers. Facebook marketing does not do that. Unless once you stop spending, it's over. YouTube marketing is more sticky. Instagram marketing is more sticky. Pentagram marketing, not Pentagram, Pinterest marketing is more sticky. 
So I'm all about the sticky marketing. And with that, there's, you know, and I just mentioned some people who are beast in their fields, who kill it, but really don't do that well on YouTube. Uh, Ramit Sethi, he was kind of sucking ass for a minute, then he stepped up his YouTube game. But it was a struggle. He's got the full studio, the production. Uh, Marie Folio, she started with YouTube, never left it, and her YouTube game is strong. And if you know anything about Marie, Marie ain't everywhere. She's got Twitter and some other things. That's about it. She doesn't jump from social media hotspot to hotspot. There's a reason. Marie, like other people and myself, realize YouTube is very sticky. I can put up this marketing message today and someone can find it four years from now. I can spend four years putting up Facebook posts every day and no one may not see most of them. So it's a really big difference. Uh, reason, and I'm going to address something. I got this email. Uh, hold on. It's from Greg. No offense, Glendon, but six months ago and longer, you were just Glendon Cameron doing your AM and PM hustles. If people wanted stuff, they would click in the link in the description. But since, you know, I'll, I'll address this. I'm going to read this again. No offense, Glendon, but six months ago and longer, you were just Glendon Cameron. Just. Now, that's a marginalizing statement. Now, Greg, no offense, but I don't have low self-esteem like you do. Now, let's go on with, we'll click in the description, but since that Stax guy, who the hell is Stax, came in to your channel telling you that YouTube is not a safe business plan, you went down the rabbit hole. Who the hell is Stax? Okay. I have recently created Monster Video Production Course. I have a YouTube mini camp next week. If I'm leaving YouTube, why am I producing content for YouTube? Why am I buying into video? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's see. One minute you were doing pathology media, then intellectual property, then freedom school, and so on. Freedom school is still in effect. Now, this is the difference with freedom school. Freedom School is an invite-only invite product. It's $5,000. There's only 22 people there. And if you don't have a business, if you don't have a hustle that's making money, you can't get in. It's very much alive. It's just not for most people. Uh, I feel you're suffering shiny object syndrome. You've created other channels now, etc., which make you look flaky. Okay. How the hell does me creating an internet, uh, a weightlifting channel, okay, what is it? Heavy Kung Fu, Mental Kung Fu, and the Angry Anthropologist. Okay, these are fun channels for me. The one with Heavy Kung Fu is talking about me working out. I don't really expect most of you to even go over there. Uh, Mental Kung Fu, some people may go over there. That's me to talk about stuff that I'm not talking about here anymore. And the Angry Anthropologist is like when I did, you know, I said, fuck white supremacy. I'm going to put that stuff there. So um, how does me creating additional channels make me look flaky when I, as a human being, have the right to follow my own personal interest? Those are not information or income channels. They're not. They're for fun. Let's see. I don't mean to be a douche, but you said you don't mind constructive critics. Okay, well, I'm not being a douche, but let me give you, hopefully you don't think I'm being a douche, but let me jump into this. Okay, you're looking at me through the filter of you looking at yourself. I have something that most people don't have, which is a vibrant YouTube channel, which gets me international exposure. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love YouTube. Actually, the only reason that I have certain other things is they support YouTube or they're sticky. Instagram is sticky. Uh, I'm not going to really do Pinterest because I don't have Pinterest-like products, but I'm not leaving videos. I don't know where that comes from. But I do, well, I'm going to make a jump here. I think part of the problem is that many people are used to someone saying that this is what it should be. And I'm not that kind of person. I give a fuck on what it should be. I'm going to make it what I want it to be. And I'm willing to suffer the slings and the arrows and quote the constructive criticism in the process because let's get down to the, the, the nitty gritty of it. 2009, that was 100% storage auctions. 2009, roughly 2012. I started changing, and then I had people who did not want me to change, did not want me to go into different areas. Pretty much wanted me to be 
just Glendon Cameron. Now, that's real fucked up statement because you're just saying, you know, in your constructive criticism that that's all the fuck you can do. You were just Glendon Cameron just doing this stuff. Just is a marginalization of what I'm able to do. Now, Greg, don't take this the wrong way, but if you think of yourself that way, cool. But I do not adopt your um, just. I don't adopt that. And this is the reason why. You said if people wanted a product. Okay. I conducted a marketing test this week. And I made some quick decisions. And I'll even give it to you. This is part of the master funnel. When I had people leaving YouTube to go to my landing page, the conversion rate sucked ass. And year after year, no matter how good the program, or whatever, it's just getting rough, worse and worse and worse. So I said, hey, let me give away 14 free courses. And then I had people go directly from YouTube to 14 free courses. The conversion rate went up 90%. 90 something percent overnight. It was like flipping a switch. So I changed it back. Conversion went down. I flipped it again. Conversion went up. Now, the reason I'm telling you this and putting this out there is because you don't know shit about marketing. You think that everything that you buy, you just kind of like, well, I came to that notion of myself. Bullshit. You've been programmed just like most people. And you actually think that you're in control of your decisions when they're heavily influenced by marketers who are so adroit that you don't even know that you're being marketed to. That's how fucking stupid you are, that you actually think that people make these decisions. So with that and getting into the marketing, I learned a lot. Once again, now let's go back to the pyramid. Most of you are looking for side income. That's it. You're looking for side income, side hustle. Now, if I want to sell to you and I do, I have to give you what you're really looking for, even if you're telling me that you want to start a business when really you don't. You don't want to work 80 hours a week. You don't want to work 90 hours a week. You, if you could get 50% more income and a little bit more freedom from your job, you'll never leave. But you still want to make extra money. So with me being a capitalist, I'm like, okay, what can I give to these people who want to make some extra money? And that was the reason for the development of HustlersKungFu.com because I was giving people really high-level stuff when they weren't even doing the low-level stuff. And I'm not saying that to be offensive or to be, quote, a douche. It's the truth. When I go into a room on Facebook, and a, a group, and I start mentioning, you know, Goldmine, which is customer relationship management software, High Rise, which is customer relationship management software created by Basecamp, created by 37 Signals. When I start mentioning this stuff and I'm, no one knows what I'm talking about, I realize I'm dealing with a different classification of business people. They are business people, but they're not my kind of business people because I have merged old school and new school together which is one of the reasons that it's very hard for you to read me or figure out what the fuck I'm doing. And it, it, it's just like, well, and let's talk about AM Hustle. AM Hustle, PM Hustle, I'm going to launch that into a radio show called Heavy, um, Heavy Kung Fu FM. That's what I'm thinking of calling it. It's going to be a radio show. Radio show slash podcast. I will do the podcast, but I'm also going to have my own radio show, my own stuff. So I won't be dependent upon iTunes because I am all about creating my own stuff. So that was a test. And let's talk about auditing yourself and real business stuff. I did AM hustle, PM hustle. I did it for a few months. It was roughly, and then I was really heavily into the Facebook group, which now is the Hustlers Kung Fu Facebook community. It's wide open. Anyone can join. You can do what you want in there, except promote your shit. Um, I was spending three to five hours a day on those two things five days a week. Now, Greg, this is the thing. They were the least profitable things I've ever done since I started doing this. They worked, but they didn't work to the level that I wanted them to work. That was the problem. They were working, but I'm like, okay, I am spending 15 to 20 hours, uh, eight, you know, 30, 60 to 80 hours a month on this stuff when this thing over here that I barely touch makes me 90% of my income. So, Greg, if you were me, would you continue to work on something that makes you little money 
and just ignore the thing that makes you a lot of money, what would you do? You would work on the thing that makes you a lot of money. You would leave. See, and that's the thing. So part of this is the grand plan. And let's go back to 2012 when I made the big change. I actually put together Hustlers, the Hustler Mindset Project, because it was the first version of what now I have. I wanted to create websites and schools to help people have a better mindset, a better training, to actually be better, to make money. And the vision was to create Hustler Mindset Project, give people good training, and that they would make so much money that they would buy my upper level training. Well, the thing is, it kind of sort of worked because I didn't put it together right. Then I went to the second version, which was, you know, Hustlers Kung Fu, and I launched that, and then that worked really, really, really well, but I made a misread on who was joining and what they really wanted. See, I was like putting all this stuff in there for people to build these big businesses. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just looking to make an extra thousand. I'm just looking to make sure two thousand. I make extra three grand a month. I'm good. That three grand a month, what I make on my job, shh, I can take trips. I can buy motorcycles. I can buy the shiny stuff. I can have the big, you know, eight ninety inch television, and I can live and have fun and not really kill myself. So that's where a lot of people are, and that's what hustlerskungfu.com is about, and that's what brings up the mini camps. Once again, going back to 2012, when I created all this stuff, I actually look at when people come into the school, if they actually go through the courses. Once a course gets to be certain length, uh, actually more than a week, people just, the dropout rate is just like, Phew. I've talked to other people who've created courses across many different industries, and it's the same thing. The longer the course, the lower the participation. So I was making these big, long very involved courses for people who didn't want them. And that's the reason folks were not getting the results that I wanted them to get. People were getting results, but they weren't getting the results that I wanted. So now Hustlers Kung Fu is completely free. Yes, everything that's there is completely free. Now the live training, the mini camp, see, I tested that with the live stuff I was doing last month and last year and last month with YouTube Live, looking for a platform, testing to see how strong it was, if it would work, how long people would stay. I was testing because when you test once and you test twice and you test three times and you test four times, when you put it out there, it hits. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen with this new thing, Greg, because this is how you really make money online. All that other bullshit about, well, you know, you're only making 10 bucks an hour. Now, you know, you're going to make a fucking million dollars a year in 14 months. Get the fuck out of here. If you had that kind of skills, you would have been making way more money sooner than when you got online. Let's be real. That's some bullshit. This is how you really fucking make money online. You come out, you look for a big bucket of people. My bucket of people is folks who want additional income from some kind of side hustle. That's the biggest bucket I have. So you go out and you create something to serve those people. You keep it short, you keep it inexpensive, and you market your ass off. That's how you make a lot of money online. All other stuff is bullshit. Now, this is what's going to happen with HustlersKungFu.com. People are going to come into the funnel. The sweaty masses of humanity will be at the bottom of the funnel, right? And then you know, people will come in because everything's free. Everything that's at HustlersKungFu.com right now is free. And then they'll come in. And what's going to happen is most people are going to come in. They're going to look at the courses and be like, oh, that's good. And then 20% is going to like go through the courses and they're going to realize results. And then they're going to like, damn, that was some awesome stuff. Thank you. And then they may go to my advanced site, glennandcameron.com, they'll probably go over there. And then out of that 20%, then it's going to whittle down to the 0.5%. That's going to be like some of my current clients who have businesses who make money and got stuck. And then these folks are going to pay me thousands of dollars because of the free information I put out. Because this is the fallacy I made, Greg. I didn't put out enough free information. I thought I did, but see, the thing is, there's 750 hours of content on this channel. 750 hours. Do you know how much content that is, Greg? That is, if you sat down and watched my channel eight hours a day, it would take you four to five months to watch every fucking thing. 
So I thought that was a lot of content. Mm -mm. I had to put out more. It had to be better structured because people don't really know how to learn. So I had to make it better. I had to make it sexier. I had to do some things, Greg. So that's how you fucking make money online. Now, let's go back to 2012 up to now. Everything that I wanted to do in 2012, I'm still working on it. I still, I've put together the online school. Check. The book club, I've tried it not once, two, three. I've tried it like five times. Now I finally have a working model. I have not given up on my goals. I have not moved away from my goals. I've changed my implementation. I've changed how I work them, but I've not given them up like you. Because when you look at me testing and the first thing that comes to you is shiny objects, you're looking at me like I'm just a regular internet marketer. Greg, I'm like not like any fucking thing you've ever seen in your life. I'm someone that's living the life that I want to live. I made those choices. I decided to live how I fucking wanted to live, and I did it. Most people are not doing that. You're not doing that. That's why you mentioned AM hustle, PM hustle, because you like that. And those things are for motivation. But see, the thing is, the people who are out there who are really hitting it, they don't fucking need motivation. They're motivated because they're fucking working. See, that's the thing. And I didn't want to do, quote, motivational stuff. Now, with Freedom School... There's not a lot of action in there because uh, there's one guy, he owns a trucking company. There's another person, she's doing real estate. There's another person making soap. Everybody's doing something. Uh, someone's making journals, can probably open up an online store. So Freedom School is like the advanced study where I drop down, you know, like I shared something from one of my uh, sponsoring deals that blew people's minds. Because see, the thing is, you don't understand YouTube the way that I understand YouTube. And it's understandable because you're out there looking at it from this way. But when you come around and look at it and you start seeing all the shit that's going on behind the front pane, it's in, there's people on YouTube. There's a girl. She's going to put up a video today and she's going to hold up a, a, a bottle of perfume and say, oh, I love it. And when I went out with my friends and that girl got paid 24 to $50,000 for that one fucking video. I pause because I know that's blowing your mind and you don't want to believe it. And there's a whole crew of girls who are doing that who are making more money from one video product placement than your ass made all year. So when you look at it in that context, it gets kind of hard to really put your arms around it because the shit is mind blowing. It's unfucking believable. If I have not experienced some of the things I experienced, if you told me that, I would say you were full of shit. Ain't no girl going to be putting up a bottle of perfume, making $24 fucking thousand dollars for a 30 second talk in a video. Oh, but yes, Greg, it's happening every day. And that's what's going on with Hustlers Kung Fu. That's how you really make money online. And if you are just going to keep chasing the shiny objects, because this is the thing, because there's a lot of people who really don't like my ass. I totally get that. Now, there's some people who hate my ass. I totally get that. But the real, the thing that's really funny is y'all don't fucking leave. <laughs> you don't fucking leave. Why? Because you get fed here. You get information. You get truth. You get shit here. You get nowhere else. I will tell you the reason that you're not making money is because you're uneducated you're, or you're fucking lazy or you really never wanted to start a business in the first place. I'll say that. I'll deal with all the hates and the trolls and the I hate Glendon Gamp. I don't give a fuck because I'm still here and they're fading away. Everybody that came on, quote, the resale space and was talking shit about me that said, I'll never charge for information. They came out with an information product. Well, you know, it ain't that bad selling information. And then because they predicated that their training, that their teaching, their information was going to be for free, they were annihilated by the community. They were fucking annihilated. Uh, hate campaign, pitchforks, fire, all of that shit because they set the tone that I'm going to teach you amazing stuff for free. And then when they turned and pivoted, y'all spanked their asses. But when people talk about me, it's like, well, you know, that's Glenda. You know it's going to charge you. I set that fucking expectation. Now, let's talk about putting together the master funnel. This is really, really powerful because... I think it is amazingly just awesome that someone can come here to YouTube, see this channel, get information, 
Go out there, start making money, start making moves, get to a point where they made so much money, they could pay me thousands and thousands of dollars. See, now that's called recycling. I put it out, it comes back to me. I don't believe in karma. Karma's some bullshit, in my opinion, because karma is something that people who get fucked over tell themselves so they can think that at some point these people are going to get their just dessert. Nah. There's murderers out there who killed several people, never got caught, having happy, wonderful lives. There's people who've done all kind of horrible evil. Sleep well at night. Let that shit go. You can get what you put out, and if you put out the stuff with intent. Because I see, I want people to be successful. I want people to be fucking successful. And I realized that I've kind of wanted that more so than some of you wanted it for yourself. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of this shit happens. I was talking to someone I'm going to do business with today. Now, a lot of you like re reviews and get people to come on. Everybody that has making money that I've helped have said this. It's like, hey, I don't want to go on YouTube. You know why? Because they know that they will be attacked. There are people who, you know, follow the tribe, who leave positive comments. And there was haters going in the comments, flagging the comments. Anytime, and I've seen this happen, it's like, well, I've bought Glendon's program and it worked. Oh, bullshit. You're lying. He paid you to say it. Now, I'm going to ask you something. When have I ever asked for reviews? You're on the email list. Name one time I've asked you for a review. Name one time I've asked you to go to Amazon. Name one time in the last seven years I've done that. I haven't. Any review I get or anyone makes a comment, it is from their heart. And I think that's wonderful. And a lot of you don't seem to understand that this thing, this opportunity that we have here is amazing. But you want to sit there and try to check out what the fuck I'm doing versus spending so much time in your own life, working on your own business, you don't even know that I exist. I Like some of my haters, I don't know what the fuck they're up to. You know, unless someone sends me an email, I don't know because I'm not, I'm not checking for them. Checking for them is stupid. Why would I chase stupid people with stupid behavior? So what? They're, they're hating. Let me tell you something. And this is an internet thing that I've learned. Someone can go out on some post and put, put some horrible shit online about me, right? And unless that post gets a lot of heat, very few people are going to find it. Why? Because what problem do all of us have online? Getting discovered. Being relevant. Because see, everybody wants fucking attention. Because this is the reason for the master funnel. The more attention that I get, the more people who come in through the free courses and go in like, damn, this guy's different. Wow, this is some different information. Wow, this shit works. Then I get greater personal attention. Because see, I'm going fucking deep. I'm going falls fucking deep. And when you go deep like that, when you're like right there in the face, you see the real. You see the real. And that's what I'm doing because as I get that attention and build a master funnel, realizing that 90 some percent of the people who are going to come to the course are never going to do anything with the information. I don't care how good. 90 some percent. Not. Well, let's say 80 percent. Then the 20 percent and then it's going to break down the degrees and then that 0.5 percent is going to pay me crazy money. So. This is a business lesson. I hope you've been paying attention because if you're mad and then you're like, he, how dare he said that? Ah, you missed the point because as I increase the base of the funnel, I increase that 0.5% exponentially. So if my base is 400 and I expand it to 1200, that 0.5% goes bananas. Because if you heard me and the dots started connecting like a motherfucker, you would be like you in church going, a fucking men. I just gave you a blueprint to make a lot of money online. But see, I also put some conjecture in there. I've also said some bad stuff. And many people are going to get caught up on the conjecture and the bad stuff. And I have the audacity to even say what I said and going to completely miss it. Completely miss it. And that's what I'm accustomed to, Greg. So hopefully you didn't really get offended and hopefully you understand what's going down. And see, there's something else I know. 
as much as you may not like this video, your ass is going to get those 19 free courses. I know that because as much as people don't like me, as much as people hate me and, and don't like my way, I am fucking respected. And if I'm wrong, just leave it in the comments that you're not getting the courses because I'm looking at the numbers and the shit is crazy. All right, so for those of you who are still here at the end, let's have a little chat. Now, hustlerskungfu.com is free. Everything in there is free. If you want additional, which is the mini courses, which is the live training, if you want the book club, that's $99 per month. You can cancel at any time. Now, how does this work? Next week, I've got some mini camps going on. So you sign up this weekend, then you will get the mini camps. Now, if you get those mini camps, like, okay, I'm out. You can cancel at any time. Just send us an email. We'll stop the automatic billing. And you get to keep what you bought. So that's it. And it's perpetual, which means it'll just go on. As I continue to put out information, you'll be charged the $99 a month. Plus, there's going to be some special stuff I can't talk about because I'm trying to get some feedback and also some commitments from some other people until I get those commitments. I can't talk about it because I've been burnt like that before. Like, hey, this person's coming on the show and... Oh, I can't make it because I cuss too much. Finally got the truth out of her ass. But the deal is, there's a lot of powerful stuff that's coming on. And let's talk about GlendonCameron.com. That's going to be the advanced studies. Right now, there's Scripted Days, very powerful. There's Power of Six, very powerful. And the 24-hour startup that was supposed to go to Hustlers Kung Fu, but I started there. And then I'm going to start building out 30 days to $2,500. Now, the millionaire version. Now, why am I doing that? If you watch this whole video, you understand most people are looking for side income. So if I'm talking about the millionaire program, there were people who automatically not buy because they would be scared shitless. They wouldn't buy. They'd be like, oh, fuck, I can't do that. But by calling it the 30 days to $2,500 program, I can bring people in and teach them to get to six figures within 12 months teach them to get the seven figures within the 24 months, and that's gross sales. That's not net income, just to be factual about it. And that's the objective of that course. Knowing what it's going to take, that's why I'm not just saying, hey, come in here, because the price is immaterial. Right now, it's $399 for people on the email list, and it's $1,000 for people who come in through the face. And by the time you see this video, it'll probably be 1000 stuck. And the big issue is not the money because I bring you through the system. I give you a sales process. I teach you how to run a business and you go take that information and go on to make thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for years. Price is immaterial when you look at it that way. But if you're looking at it as, well, I only make $1,500 a month, $1,000, shoot, that's three weeks of my life. You look at it that way, you completely miss the value. Because, once again, I have people, and if you don't believe me, just go through the channel, start watching. It'll take you four months to watch everything, and you will get business education, business courses, business lessons just from watching. Then, oh, or go through HustlersKungFu.com, get those courses, and then when we get to GlendonCameron.com, that's when we get to the advanced level. That's when we get, to, I teach you how to do what I'm doing, but you can't do that from scratch. So, that's what's going on. Information will be below the video. Thanks for watching, and one thing that you can say about this channel, it's never boring. Never. <laughs> All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next episode.